After chiseling down eating only chicken, rice, and broccoli for an entire week, I took a trip to Florida where I completely allowed myself to eat whatever I wanted for five days. What would happen to my body? Let's find out. But you gotta focus. So the rules for myself for this experiment were to just eat whatever I wanted, whenever I wanted, for the next five days, and see what happens. Other than that, no rules. Arriving in Sarasota, Florida, making our first stop at not a fancy restaurant, but rather the Whole Foods Hot Bar, where lunch was fresh. Where I ended up surprisingly getting chicken rice and potatoes. You got more than I did. This is yours. I only got that. But the chicken was so much more flavorful than the kind I was eating the last week. I ate the whole thing and then took down a cookie on the road what back to the is hotel. This? Out of Magic. Yeah. Oh, wow. Arriving at the beach where it was a little nippy, but going to enjoy it anyways, little secret, guys. If you guys go to Florida in January, you can get a pretty good deal on a resort package because it's a lot colder down there. But if you're from the Midwest like I am, it still feels pretty warm. My suitcase, my wife's suitcase, and my... Headed back out to try some gelato from Satimi's Gelato located in St. Armand's. The best ice cream I've ever had in my entire life. Ate the whole thing. And then being super exciting, literally hitting up the Whole Foods hot bar where I had the exact same thing I had for lunch. But considering my daily calorie expenditure is around 3,000, not having a huge surplus of calories yet. But we're just getting started. All right, what's up folks? This is day two. Gonna start it with some healthy right here. And then we're gonna roll to the store again. What store are we going to? Whole Foods. She said it, folks, not me. We literally have come to Florida to eat at Whole Foods. And the gelato place. And the gelato place. <laughs> That's just the way it's going right now. Whole Foods has got some good food down here. That is really good right now. Hey, maybe we need sunglasses. Oh yeah, wow. Yeah. So super stoked to be waking up to some sun because we literally haven't seen sun for a few weeks before this. Heading into the city of Sarasota, which was perhaps one of the cleanest cities I've ever seen. Making our way into, yeah, you guessed it, Whole Foods, where we picked up some pastries and I got some eggs for the car ride home. Oh, there it goes. Back at the hotel enjoying some coffees with a pastry reminding me of my early college days when I didn't eat the healthiest. I got this pecan cinnamon roll. It was absolutely delicious. I demolished the whole thing. Gotta be real though, I actually felt way more bloated than the amount of calories I thought I ate so far. We are at Anytime Fitness. Let's rock and roll. Shortly after breakfast, hitting up the local Anytime Fitness for a quick pull and bicep workout, I felt like I was getting a pretty good pump, but only at about 20 minutes in, I basically crashed, hit a wall, and decided to cut it short. And then back to the buffet to refeed on some various forms of chicken, rice, and vegetables. It just sounded the best, I don't know why, and that's the point of this video, to eat what sounds the best. Throwing on some fruit for what I thought was going to be dessert, but then still craving some things, having another macadamia nut cookie on the way back to the hotel. Yeah. Feeling a little bloated, but muscles also feeling extremely full at this point. We hit up the beach where I absolutely was not going to do a backflip because one thing to note is all of my joints were starting to feel a little more creaky than normal. And this would only get worse here on out. Stay tuned. Oh, where are you going? Sorry, I forgot to film too hungry. We ordered a full pizza and I got this like feta garlic sauce and I've been putting it on it, it's really good. Bro, what are you literally like four years old? Wipe your mouth. Anyways, got some pizza with this feta garlic sauce for dinner, which I calculated to be a huge amount of additional calories. We each ate half and then headed back to the hotel where I finished it off with some peanut butter cups. Day two was way more calories than day one and it only escalated. I got this sweater for Christmas. I think it helps me fit in around here. Oh wow. Day three, off to the breakfast bar where I picked up some more eggs and a fresh squeezed fruit juice. Keep in mind these fresh squeezed fruit juices are not that low in calories. That's something to be aware of if you're actually watching your calories, unlike me in this video. On top of that, putting down some coffee, a lot of it, with some mini cranberry orange muffins. Super delicious. That's what it looked like. <laughs> oh gosh. So that's really what I look like. <laughs> <sighs> 
putting on as much mass as I can as fast as I can. So as you can see, really feeling full in the muscles, but really, really feeling bloated at the same time. So enjoying the beach for a bit in the sun, getting ready for some lunch. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so you're telling me if I just swim over yonder, I'm gonna hit Texas? Free trip, we just gotta swim. Dumb, I know. After the beach, going to the gym where I did feel strong, but like I mentioned earlier, my joints were feeling creaky, and specifically all of my old injuries felt like they were acting up. From my wrist, shoulder, to my back, to my ankles. Everything felt like it was on the edge. Just got done in the gym. Dude, the pump was unreal though. All those carbs in me and the heat too. But now we're going to get lunch, not even hungry. I wasn't even hungry, but after seeing it, I got hungry. Orange chicken, basmati rice under there, brown rice under there. It weighs two pounds, two point, two and a quarter. These are so good. Feel free to make fun of us all you want for pretty much only eating at Whole Foods Buffet rather than going to any fancy restaurants for most of this trip. But this orange chicken they had was absolutely delicious, slamming this whole two pounds of food, estimating about 1600 calories for this lunch. And then cooling it down with some more of the best ice cream ever. I mean, it's so good. I got cappuccino flavor this time, by far my favorite flavor. Soaking up some more sun on the beach, relaxing, having fun, and working up an appetite. Wow. Do you hear that wind? That's terrible. It's a snowstorm. That's live from the backyard right now. It's a backyard cam. Meanwhile, we're on the beach in the sun. Unreal. It's all good. So I didn't film the dinner and dessert on this day, but it was basically just more of that orange chicken followed by some peanut butter cups, bringing the estimated day total close to 5,000 calories. Day four, a juice store run for some blueberry mini muffins this time, some coffee, and then I decided to also get two vegan oatmeal cookies. Just an insane amount of sweets compared to my normal diet. At this point, I was actually starting to notice that the sweet food wasn't really tasting as sweet as it did on day one, rather it was just kind of tasting like normal food. Kind of craving something a little more fresh for lunch, I just went back to the chicken, rice, and vegetables once again. It's what sounded good at the time. Well, 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 folks. Stand here in the middle of the street, wondering what I should eat. <laughs> Thinking about walking on my feet. All right. So back to the town to get some more gelato and then to this place called Kilwins for some delicious fudge. Oh wow. Wow, that's actually amazing. We're so weird. I don't care though. 6.30, day four. We're finally eating something other than the Whole Foods hot bar. We are going to the resort's restaurant and I'm getting a burger. Finally at a restaurant starting with a Coca-Cola followed by some bread and butter appetizers and then some french fries and a big American cheeseburger. Look at this, I haven't had french fries in so long. Look at that, she's gonna eat the same thing. Absolutely delicious, but do not think for a second that we were done for the day. Cannoli, cake, brownie, pretzel. You look tan. I do? Yeah. That's a good plus. And back to the hotel finishing up with some desserts for an estimated daily total of around 5,000 calories. Notice the exceptional amount of fat I've been eating each and every day since starting this vacation. All right, let's see where we're at. According to this scale. Oh my gosh. So day five was pretty much the travel home, but don't think that stopped us. We started the morning with some mini muffins, followed by a quick lunch with some more of that amazing orange chicken from the Whole Foods Buffet. Regardless, bye bye paradise, hello doom and gloom. Back home, but believe it or not, we weren't done. Look at that snow trickling down. I'm gonna shower, shave, and we'll check out the damage. Boom, just got out of the shower. Here's the body, what it looks like right now. Probably close to 10 pounds up in like water mostly. Other than that, gonna unpack and uh, holy moly, see you guys in a bit. So I ended up not filming it, but to finish off this five day, whatever I wanted to eat experiment, we ended up getting carry out. I got some garlic naan, about a pound of beef kebabs, a small salad, and I finished the night off with a nice slice of chocolate cake for a daily total of once again around 5,000 calories. What would be the final physical price of all this? How much would I weigh in at? How quickly could I get this back off? Well, ladies and gentlemen, now is time to find out with the aftermath. Oh my gosh, I've done it. Just woke up 200.2, that is like a record. Oh my gosh. 
so around nine pounds in only five days. And then at first glance, to me, I can clearly see I'm retaining water, especially in the face, but obviously over the muscles as well, looking totally softer. However, I do feel like my muscles definitely look fuller. Everything feels so creaky, like my knees feel creaky, my ankles feel creaky, my back feels creaky, my shoulder feel creaky. So here's the plan to get back to a comfortable weight. I am going to eat healthy, or what I consider healthy, which I believe is pretty healthy. I am going to eat until I am three quarters full. All right, self-control. Not everybody can do this. I've done it before and it's worked for me, so I'm gonna do it again. Yeah, I'm excited to just cut some weight. Diet time. Something I wish I would have done was taking my blood pressure before and after doing this experiment because it literally felt like my blood pressure was up, especially when doing exercises. Like I just felt almost like pounding in my head. Maybe that was dehydration or something else, but that can be expected when you do gain weight so rapidly, even if a lot of it is water weight, which is actually a reason why I would not recommend gaining so much weight so rapidly. All right, dinner is served, ladies and gentlemen. We have turkey, rice, avocado, literally just basically starting here. So it's really gonna come down to about, for around probably 2,800 calories a day for a while now, just to kind of get back to normal. And just by eating normally on the second day back, already down a significant amount of weight. Wow, way down, 195.8. But something I did notice is it felt like I had more what I like to call a perma fat around the stomach waistline area. Hopefully this would end up going away eventually, so I stayed the course of the three quarters full diet in an effort to get back to my previous weight. So I ended up going from this to this to this in 10 days. What a yo-yo. So yeah, I do feel like I'm getting back to normal, except for I feel like it's going to take me maybe a little bit longer than the five days it took me to do the damage. However, one thing's for certain, all this week I felt completely refreshed in the mind. I feel good to have had the vacation. I feel grateful to have had the opportunity to go on vacation and eat whatever I want. What most likely happened is a ton of water weight went on and maybe a little bit of adipose tissue as well, which seems to be the last thing that wants to come off. I'm certain I've got some of it off. Or heck, maybe you guys think maybe I should just be bigger. Maybe I should put some more weight back on. Maybe I should get a gold chain. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe. Hope you all have a great day. If you guys are interested in my body weight training program, Body Weight Beast 2.0, 12 week calisthenics program, chain with your body weight virtually anywhere. Link in the description. Use code FOCUS at the checkout. Get $5 off. Peace, I will see you all in the next video.